Stephanie. And James. And hello from the road. The road. And I can't believe we've never shared this workout plan before. Online. It seems like we've done a lot. Yeah, yeah. But so, not this, I guess. You all have heard us say that we think you should drive two hours and then make sure you stop. And that's for long road trips. That video I know we've done. Yes. And there's a reason for that. It's because sitting is really hard on your body and we need to keep our circulation up and get ourselves moving a lot. So today I'm going to show you a workout you can do when you're the passenger and you're on a long road trip to break up that two hour stretch of driving. Okay. What about the driver? Well, the driver's going to have his turn to do this workout on the next two hours because every two hours we stop, and we're going to switch drivers. When I don't like it when you drive. <laughs> what? You drive way too fast in this thing. The fastest I ever go is 72. No, you've set off the speed alarm before. You're over 85. Downhill, like a downhill, or if there's like a semi that I'm scared of. Oh, you're scared, so you go faster. Well, anyway, anyway, back to the workout. So, all right, you guys ready to do this workout? Now, you're going to make a cheat sheet of this available, right? Good point. Yes. So, you guys, come to our website, thefitrv.com, and just use the search bar and look for passenger seat workout, and it'll pop right up. And there'll I'm be a little PDF, right? Yeah, it'll be a one page. You can print it out. You can have it in the vehicle. And this is just to show you what those exercises are. Okay, so you're not doing the whole thing. You're just showing I'm, I'm showing you what each of the exercises are right now. Got okay, it. ready? Yep. So the first one on the sheet is called fire feet. And guys, all you're going to do is you're going to take your feet and you're going to stamp them really quick, as fast as you can, up and down. It's like you're stamping out a fire. That is really not one for the driver. And no, you don't want to do that driving. <laughs> and you're going to do it for about 20 seconds. This is to get your circulation going, getting your legs all warmed up for what's to come. Okay, that's number one. The next one you're going to do is heels in, heels out. So to do that, you're going to glue your toes and you're going to bring your heels together. You're going to pivot on your toes and then you're going to bring your heels out to the side. So you're going to keep going. Heels in, heels out, heels in, heels out. With Driver your can't do that one either. No, nope. your toes would be down. <laughs> And then you're going to switch that up. You're going to do toes in, toes out. So glue your heels now, and then you're going to use them as the pivot to lift and tap your toes in and out. So it's like your toes are drawing a rainbow. All right, next one, heel to shin. That's when you're going to plant one foot, and with your other foot, you're going to lift your heel up on your shin as high as you can, and you're going to tap it on your shin and then back down. So you're going to go up and down 10 times. Heel up, foot down, heel up foot down 10 times on each foot. That's what heel to shin is. Again, not for the driver. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to leave your legs alone for a minute. We're going to sit up with good posture. Oh, and I should have reminded you, guys, this is much easier if you take your seat back and so you have a little more leg room and maybe even put the backrest a little bit back. But right now I want you sitting up nice and tall for a shoulder exercise. It's up, back, and down. So with good posture, you're going to lift your shoulders up, take them back, and then you're going to go down with your shoulders. So driver can do that one. Up. Well, but the driver should be driving back. I am driving. And down. And when you come down, that's when I want you to exhale. So it's up, back. You're going to do that 10 times. Make sure you have really good posture. All right. So now we're going to go into core. So we're going to do ab tucks. So what you're going to do is you're going to pull your belly button in towards your spine and that's going to round your spine back and then you're going to come up. So it's like you're sucking your stomach in and you're pulling your belly button back to your spine and that's going to make you slightly round your spine and sort of like what we do in a cat cow, a yoga okay, pose. Okay, okay, okay. So it's not a cat camel, it's a cat Cow. Right. Sometimes you'll hear, hear them called cat camel, but that's kind of confusing because camel is a different yoga pose where you're kneeling on your knees and your hips are up straight. No you're kneeling not, for the driver. You're not on your hands and knees. So we're calling this just we're calling this an ab tuck on the sheet. So you're exhaling and you're rounding your spine and you're pulling your navel in. And then when you inhale, you're sitting up nice and tall, a little exaggerated, almost like there's an arch in your back. So it's in and out. All right, that's the ab tuck. Now, next one's easy. It's a knee up march. So you're going to lift your left knee and you're going to grab it with both hands and you're going to pull it in. <laughs> then you're going to lift your right knee. What? Yeah, none of these are for the driver at all. Except that's the shoulder right. Thing. That's why it's called the passenger seat workout. The driver's getting a workout just driving. Putting up with you. Ha. Huh. All right, so now this one, guys, this is also working your biceps, so really use your arms to pull and resist. Have your knee resist against it, so you're working your arms, too. 
You're gonna do 10 on each leg, so you're gonna count them one, one, and that's one repetition. All right, now we got cheek squeezes. Not these <laughs> cheeks, these cheeks. <laughs> You're going to squeeze. What How are you, you going to demonstrate that? Are you 15? How are you going to demonstrate that? So your glutes are your biggest muscle in your body, and they're important for good posture <laughs> and keeping your circulation up. So you're going to squeeze your glutes together for two seconds, and then you're going to release, doing 10. Each time you squeeze, you exhale. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I want to shoot the close-up video on this one. and release. You're such a child. All right, so next we're gonna do a cuddle. So on a cuddle, you're gonna give yourself a hug and squeeze hard. And then you're gonna repeat, switching your arms, whichever arm is on top, you're switching. Hug, open, hug, open, hug, open, because I love myself. Open. Yes, you do. No matter what you say, I love myself. Hug. Okay, so you're gonna do 10 of those, and one repetition is like this, one, one, okay? So you count them, you kind of do two. So it's more like doing 20, really. But we'll call it 10 because it makes it sound easier. All right, we're gonna do a seated twist now. You're gonna cross your left leg up and over and you're gonna take your opposite hand on the knee and then you're gonna twist gently with a tall spine and look over your shoulder. Then you're gonna switch and do that on the other side. So you're switching side to side, looking over your shoulder and you're gonna keep doing those seated twists. Cross your leg, twist and look with good posture. Everything's with good posture and make sure your breathing matches. Try to exhale on the effort. All right, so that was a seated twist. Now we're gonna draw circles with your toes. So lift one foot and just draw 10 circles. This is where I guess it makes sense to have your seat pushed further back. Yeah, you have more room better. to do this. It's actually working in your core. And then you're going to draw 10 circles the other way. And then you do that with the other leg. So your toe is pointed on that, on that one. But now here's the difference. Now we're going to draw circles with your heel. So pull your toes way back. Stick your heel out and draw 10 circles. And then go the other direction. And then switch legs. Okay, back touches. So you're gonna reach your left arm up as high as you can and touch your back. Touch down your back way low. And you see how my elbow's in? I don't want you out like here. I want your elbow in towards your head. Elbow up, like in the air up? Like Good, yeah. Your goal is to get your elbow up towards the ceiling. Okay. And you're reaching your fingertips down your back with good posture, always good posture. You're gonna do 10 of these reaches. So this is working, your shoulder mobility. It's working a good tricep stretch. And it's also keeping your circulation up because anytime we raise our arm over our head, it gets our circulation going a little bit better. All right. What if I raise my hand and I just want you to go get me a beverage? Well, we would have to pull over because safety first. <laughs> All right, that was the back touches. Let's go on to the heel pushes. I like this one. So you're gonna place your legs against the, the seat. So you're hugging the seat and now take your calves and squeeze them against the seat as hard as you can and then release. So it's kind of like a um, hamstring curl. Okay. So you're squeezing and releasing. There's not a lot of movement, but you're tensing up your muscles. You're doing a muscle contraction. So you're just kind of, you, you, these don't even necessarily have to be in an squeeze. RV. You could do it like on a, on a bus, squeeze. on an airplane, in a regular car. Yeah, absolutely. All right. All right, so that's the heel pushes. Now I want to do hand pulls. So take your fingers, lock them together, and pull for two seconds and then pull the other way. So pull, pull, and you're gonna do 10 of those. Let's just do 10s of everything because it's easier to remember. But again, one repetition is actually two of these. So you go one, one, two, two. All right, now we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna do the heel pushes, or sorry, no, 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 no. I'm look, reading my cheat sheet here. We're gonna do hand pushes, but it's the heel of your hand that's working. So you're taking the heels of your hands together and you're pushing to work your chest muscles. Pushing, make sure you have good posture, you're up tall, push, two second push, and then twist the other way, push. 10 of each, okay? So that's the hand pushes using the heel of your hand. 
All right, now here's that little challenge, the coordination challenge I was telling you about, oh, the out, yeah, yeah. out, in, ins. So you're gonna step your foot out to the side a little and then the other one out, and then you're stepping in, in. So it's left out, right out, left in, right in. But now you're gonna make that uh, a coordination challenge by alternating which foot you lead with. So I'm gonna go left out, right out, left in, right in, but then right out, left out, right in, left in, and then... Sounds easy now, but do it fast. Exactly. So now we're going to make it a coordination challenge by seeing how fast I can go. Okay, you ready? <laughs> Here we go. Out, out, in, in. Oh, wait, that was bad. <laughs> It didn't go so well. <laughs> okay, okay, focus. Out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. That's as fast okay. as you got. Ooh, that's tough. All right, hopefully you guys can do better than me, but work on that coordination challenge. Out, out, in, and alternating which foot starts. Okay, and the last one. Squeeze your knees together. So all you're doing is squeezing as hard as you can. Two seconds, and then release. Two seconds. So we're working those adductor muscles in your legs. Two seconds in. There's a lot of isometrics in this. Right? There is. Well, you're stuck in a seat, so what else can you do? Right. Isometrics means you're doing a muscle contraction. You're kind of holding the muscle. All right, so that was the last exercise. So that was an hour into your drive. You got another hour of driving, and remember, you gotta stop that RV. You're gonna get out, you're gonna walk around, do about 10 minutes of activity. Switch drivers if you have another driver. If you can stand the thought of switching drivers. Whatever. And that's it. So you guys have a blast out there. Be safe, make healthy choices, and I'll see you on the road. Bye, gang. Bye.